Today you're gonna learn how to play a national acrobat by Black Sabbath and we're starting right now. What's up everyone, Steve here again from Does It Doom, the YouTube channel where we feature weekly guitar lessons and gear demos in the stoner, doom, sludge, and drone metal genres. So if that is your thing, please like this video, subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell for more weekly doom content. All right, a national acrobat here is in C sharp standard tuning. I'm using this 1965 Gibson SG special. We're playing on the bridge pickup with the volume rolled off to nine and a tone all the way up. We're running that into a Fuzzlord effects. Does it doom Riffmaster OC44 germanium boost? We got it set on the second setting for that modified Iomi treble booster tone, running that into an Ibanez Weeping Demon Wah into the high bass input of a 1969 Laney LBO 60 60 watt supergroup, and then out into a Torpedo Captor Cab M, which is running a Laney Supergroup 4x12 cabinet impulse response. Today we're gonna cover most of the rhythm sections from a National Acrobat, but if you wanna learn the whole song, including the little solo interludes and uh, the second half of the song, really, you can check out the tabs for everything we're gonna cover today, as well as that stuff on both guitar and bass at patreon.com slash does it doom, support the channel there and gain access to a ton of additional bonus content and resources. We've got tabs for literally every single lesson we've ever done on this channel for both guitar and bass. So with that, you can get your shit tuned up to C-sharp standard. We're gonna zoom in, we're gonna do a quick demo, then we're gonna come back and break this thing down riff by riff. Check it. So again, we're in C sharp standard tuning here. I've got a set of 10 to 48 strings on this thing. This song is in the key of C sharp minor, which is going to be the E minor position if we were in standard tuning, but because we are tuned down three semitones or one and a half steps, we're gonna be in the key of C sharp minor. So the first riff here, which I believe was actually written by Geezer Butler. I think I read that in Tony's Iron Man biography. You can correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I think he said this riff was written by Geezer and it goes like this. So 
So this riff uses the natural minor scale, but we're using the flat seventh, the root, the minor third, the major second. We've got this flat fifth, which we're sliding down to this perfect fourth. And then we are even using this fifth up here as well. So again, <laughs> trill between this major second and this minor third. got this harmony in the upper register played over top of that which is mostly harmonized in thirds except for the little trill at the end which is played just an octave higher so <laughs> getting some value out of this lesson remember to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel now we move into the next riff which starts to incorporate these power chord passages the first one goes like this so again this is just minor pentatonic and we've got the root note a minor third a flat seventh a perfect fourth. Then we've got a second form of power chord passage in there that goes like this. So this one is rooted in the natural minor scale. We've got a flat sixth, a perfect fifth, and then we've got, again, the minor third sliding up to the perfect fourth. Now that section all together goes like this. Then we're going to kick on the wah pedal for this awesome, awesome riff that goes like this. So when I teach it here, I'll teach it without the wah. But now this riff is using the really cool Hendrix chord. So if we were in standard tuning in this position, this would be an E7 sharp nine. But because we are tuned down three semitones, we are a C sharp seven sharp nine. Reason being that if the chord looked like this, it would just be a ninth chord. We are taking this interval down here, the nine, and sh and basically raising it a semitone, 
to make it sharp, giving it that Hendrix chord feel. And so the, the riff goes like this. So this chord is using the root note here, the major third here, a flat seventh here, and then the sharp nine down here, and I'm also hitting the open sixth string. And that brings us to our final riff in the lesson, which goes like this. So again, just minor pentatonic. flat seventh, the perfect fourth, and the minor third. And then up to this perfect fifth. Remember to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my new weekly videos. I want to send out a huge, huge thank you to everyone who supports this channel over on Patreon with a very special thank you to all of our Riff Lord tier producers. Uh, for more content just like this, you can click the video directly below me. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, you can do so by clicking the round subscribe icon. And until next time, always remember, Tony Iommi is your friend.